Nikolai Vavilov was born in Moscow on November 26, 1887. He came from a relatively wealthy family that was able to provide him with valuable education and he graduated from the Agricultural Institute in Moscow. From 1911 to 1912, he worked at the Russian Bureau of Applied Botany. During this time, the Bureau was particularly interested in crop diversity, including wild species. The two years following, in his late 20s, he studied under William Bateson, a geneticist, and Roland Biffin, a plant breeder, as well as other scientists in England. He then returned to Russia and at age 30 was appointed professor of agriculture at Saratov University. Three years later, he left to become the head of the Bureau of Applied Biology in Petrograd. In 1925, he was appointed director of the new All-Union Institute of Applied Biology. Vavilov traveled to nearly every corner of the earth between 1916 and 1940, trying to collect plants, especially wild relatives of cultivated plants. He wrote a lot about the history of agriculture and the origins of cultivated plants, as well as the importance of wild species and plant breeding to incorporate valuable traits. He embarked on roughly 100 excursions to collect over 200,000 species from over 50 countries from five continents. He created the largest collection of seeds at the time. His travels also helped him form his theory of center of origins, or as scientists today call it, Vavilov centers of diversity. He pinpointed eight nuclei from which most agricultural biodiversity originates. These centers are the South Mexican and Central American center, the South American center, the Mediterranean center, the Middle Eastern Center, the Ethiopian Center, the Central Asiatic Center, the Indian Center, and Chinese Center. These locations were similar in that they all had varied soil types, climates, and topographies, as well as being surrounded by mountain ranges. For improving or developing new varieties, Vavilov found it imperative that breeders use resources from a species divine center where it has the greatest genetic diversity. And it is this diversity that our global food security relies on. Vavilov tracked the origin of all the crops he studied, primarily wheat, corn, and cereal crops, and found the amount of diversity is indicative of how long a crop has been grown in that location. The longer a crop has been planted, the greater diversity it should have. His theory on the center of origins eventually developed into the idea that all cultivated plants come from 12 different macro centers. He also created the law of homologous series. This has to do with inherited variation and how species that are more closely related will tend to develop parallel hereditary variations. But for being one of the greatest pioneers in the plant world, his demise was not met with this recognition. In the 1930s, Russia was in political turmoil under Stalin's rule and Vavilov believed in medallion genetics, which opposed the popular school of thought, and primarily the beliefs of Ukrainian scientist Trofim Lysenko, who was desperate for Stalin's approval. After enduring slander and abuse, Vavilov was arrested in Ukraine in 1940 on account of treason, even though he was just on a seed collection expedition, and sentenced to death in 1941. However, the sentence was changed to 20 years in prison, but he still died in the prison hospital in 1943. Eventually, Vavilov was exonerated of all of his charges and is now rightfully regarded as one of Russia's greatest plant scientists. No other researcher has ever come close to matching his expeditions and the Institute of Applied Botany has now been named after him.